Hello friends. Uh, now let us discuss about the carcinoma of breast. Before we go into the classification of carcinoma of breast, uh, we would discuss about all the etiological factors which are uh, which may lead or which may uh, increase the risk or favor the person to develop carcinoma of breast. So basically this carcinoma of breast is the most commonest carcinoma which occurs to humans throughout the world. Its incidence is higher in developed countries, even in developed countries. So this, uh, I just leave out the etiology, I mean epidemiology of this breast cancer. But clinically, these people will, uh, just a person or a woman comes to you, it is solitary, that is one painless you don't have any pain uh, and it is palpable you can feel it on palpation uh, and such a type of lump she comes and it is just detected by self-examination given to many of the women and they come to you and uh, then a technique called is uh, first they do mammography right now or uh, zero radiography or thermography but most of uh, the physicians prefer mammography than any other technique so after they do mammography if they have any if they suspect any carcinoma then they do a technique which is called as needle fine needle aspiration cytology which is called as FNAC in which they just insert a needle into the uh, lump and then uh, they excuse some of the fluid or they take some of the fluid out of the lump and they do cytological examination. So uh, all this breast cancer, first in this lecture, we just learned about the etiology of the breast cancer. Later we classify it um, into many classes because etiology is really very big for breast cancer. So I would like to con con me. A complete the etiology of breast cancer before I go to the pathogenesis and other features. So etiology, uh, right now there are there is there are many clinical and clinical research and experimental research are being conducted in the field of breast carcinoma. So first, uh, geography. To start with, um. Some of the countries, I mean, the breast carcinoma is really very uh, frequent in some in some countries. Especially, it is higher in developed countries. Incident is higher in developed countries. Uh, maybe because of the consumption of uh, fat or uh, diet habits, these are uh, the, I mean... Diet habits in the developed countries there might may be increased risk of um, breast cancer than than developing countries. Next, genetic factors. The second one is the genetic factors. You know, recently m many work. I mean, uh, the most extensive work is being done on the genetic factors of many diseases. So they even found out that this uh, breast cancer runs in some family. So, the first one is family history. Uh, so, first degree relatives, first degree relatives have increased risk of breast carcinoma. Uh, the risk is also proportionate to number of relatives with breast carcinoma and anger rage and it is also proportionate with anger rage at time of uh, development of carcinoma if many people get uh, uh, bilateral cancers then even then uh, there is increased risk and even if there is higher risk if, if the families have uh, ovarian carcinoma too. Right? This is the family history. Coming to the genetic history, like genetic mutations, 
so what are the genetic mutations which may happen 10% of the whole blood breast carcinomas are basically due to mutations so among which the most common one is uh, first brca1 gene on chromosome chr is chromosome chromosome 17 this is a dna repair gene there is deletion of this brca1 gene so due to this deletion of brca1 gene the dna are not uh, I mean there is no repair, repair of the dna and there is excessive proliferation of dna right and this brca gene it is detected by immunohistochemistry uh, do you think even men get breast cancer or only women get breast cancer in reality even men are prone to breast cancer but the incidence is really rare uh, but uh, some men have been reported who have mutated BRCA1 gene and they have breast and they have manifested with features of breast carcinoma but it's really very rare and the second one is uh, there is a deletion or mutation of BRCA2 gene which is on chromosome 13 there is mutation here and even this is a DNA repair gene. Right? So, basically for the development of breast cancer or breast carcinoma, it is a prerequisite for, uh, I mean, uh, to find mutations of both BRCA1 and BRCA2 if it is uh, if the main etiology is genetic mutation and the third mutation is is the mutation in P53 tumor suppressor gene and the final mutations may be are due to PTEN gene or etc other genes right these are the main genes which are responsible for the uh, breast cancer and the third factor may be due to estrogen excess excess of estrogen also suggests has a has one of the etiological factor for breast carcinoma so what are the evidences which support so the evidences are so women with prolonged reproductive age if a woman have prolonged reproductive life then she is exposed to increased estrogen so she is at higher risk so how does one have a prolonged reproductive life? It is by early menarche and late menopause. And increased risk in unmarried and nulliparous. And women uh, with first childbirth greater than 30 years is at higher risk. And lactation uh, reduces the risk of breast carcinoma. And bilateral oophorectomy oophorectomy is removal of uh, ovaries so this bilateral oophorectomy there is no estrogen so there is decreased risk and there is functioning ah, ovarian tumor 
then there is increased risk and if there is long term use of oral contraceptives even then there is increased risk and men with prostate cancer have increased risk even there are miscellaneous factors which are uh, which may have which have, which may be factors of uh, the fourth one is miscellaneous factors which are uh, which are um, uh, which contribute to the risk factors of uh, breast carcinoma which include alcohol consumption smoking and breast augmentation surgery or it may also be due to radiation exposure or consumption of large animal fats so all these may contribute to or may increase the risk factors of uh, breast carcinoma so these basically include family first geographical factors genetic factors which includes family history and genetic mutations and it also includes estrogen excess with some evidences and miscellaneous factors in our next class we would deal about the pathogenesis of breast cancer and the classification okay then bye